So this year, guys, if I ask you one, hi, I, mm, I'm going to be kind to myself as much as possible. Hey, it's Chase of Naya. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's Chase of Naya. Hey guys, Chase of Naya. Hi guys, it's Naya here. Welcome back to another episode of Shades of Maya. If this is the first time of tuning in, you're welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, you're also welcome. If this is the first time of tuning in, please don't make it your last. Kindly hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up if you end up enjoying it, okay? So guys, today I'm going to be discussing either nine or ten things I think I won't be doing in 2023. I know a lot of you on year, when the year ended last year, 2020, so you guys already had your new year resolution because it's normal for a lot of you to okay put out list of things you want to do in 2023 or in the new year and list of things you don't want to do and all of that so apparently i think i didn't do that in 2022 or maybe i did but yeah apparently i decided to have a resolution after the first quarter of the year so i'm going to be discussing or sharing my april resolution and i just want to use this medium to say that if for instance you made your resolution and all of that i didn't keep up or you backslided and all of that you can still decide to make another resolution it doesn't matter whether it's a new year you can even have a self-reflection after three months after one month after one week after a day and decide that okay i don't want to be doing this thing so i did a self-reflection from january to march and i said to myself that i don't want to be doing these particular things any longer these are the things i don't want to be doing so i'm going to be sharing on the things i don't want to be doing and not all it is i want to be doing anyways so basically i'm going to be sharing the things i don't want to do any longer in this year 2023 so this is my april 2023 resolution and i intend to keep up with the things i'm going to be discussing here throughout this year and probably throughout eternity <laughs> yeah so guys let's get in let's the curse the first thing i won't be doing in 2023 is following on healthy social media accounts if your page is not motivating me it's not inspiring me it's not educating me in any form of way i will unfollow you stop following pages that are triggering biased toxic or negative in any form of way stop it bro stop it sis you might think it's not affecting you directly or you might think oh it's social media it does not have any direct impact in your life but trust me is affecting you in some kind of way and you don't need those kind of negative energy around you some social media handles or pages will make you feel less of yourself make you feel like you're not doing enough and we all know this old drama on social media where lots of people live fake life and fake whatever but when you follow these kind of pages and they're not inspiring you i'd advise you just unfollow them unfollow those accounts that are not inspiring to you that are not motivating you that are not making you become a better version of yourself that makes you doubt yourself makes you question yourself oh i'm not there yet oh maybe makes you feel like you're not where you're supposed to be even when you're doing okay for yourself as a person you need to unfollow you need to unfollow those accounts you need to unfollow those pages you don't need such energy and you need to protect your energy another thing i won't be doing in 2023 is being financially illiterate my 95 income or my 95 job income will obviously not give me the kind of lifestyle i want to acquire and as such i know that i need to step up my game you need to read books on finance follow pages on finance listen to podcasts that talks about finance and how you can break free how you can break through and all of that stuff because trust me honest truth no one has ever become wealthy or rich solely from their nine to five income without investing like they say you can never be richer than your employer you can never ever be wealthier than the person you're working for so that is why you need to take time to invest in yourself take out time to invest in yourself read books on finance read books that can help you grow financially there are a lot of other things you can do aside your 9 to 5 job. You can call it your side hustle or your side chick. You can call it whatever you want to call it. Because most of us have some skills we can actually use to make money. So why not utilize it? Being an entrepreneur does not mean you cannot have a 9 to 5 job. And having a 9 to 5 job does not mean you cannot be an entrepreneur. Your 9 to 5 can be your main chick while your entrepreneur, whatever, remains your side chick. Or your 95 can actually be your side chick while your entrepreneur job is your main hustle your main chick 
Check it. So just make sure you utilize all available skills you have and make money, make good money from them and make sure as well to invest. And that is why you shouldn't invest anyhow. Make sure to invest wisely and try as much as you can to do research before you go into any particular investment so you don't lose your acquired funds or your saved funds. Just make sure you're financially literate or tell yourself that this year or henceforth, I've told myself already that henceforth, I'm going to be reading books on finance because no one can know it all. So you need to broaden your knowledge. When you read, you can see opportunities in the book you're reading. So that's why I would say read books, listen to podcasts, podcasts, uh, educative podcasts can go a long way in helping you. Those times when you're busy in the morning, you can just turn on a podcast and be listening to it while you're cooking while you're dressing your bed or something. So it might not even take your time. Just listen to something educative financially and you see yourself grow. Another thing I'll be doing this year is partying my life away. Nah, I'll be doing that stuff, that shit any longer. I figured out it's pussy in people's faces and in people's mouth. In as much as you want to network and all that stuff, trust me, I said that I figured I need to reduce the number of times I go clubbing, I go out clubbing, be it in a month, in a week, and all of that. I need to cut down on it. Aside from the fun part and all of that, it makes you consume a lot of alcohol you didn't plan for. And we all know alcohol is totally not good for us in the long term. So I try to cut down on going for all those kind of outings, late night outings, clubbing, and all of that. Now, I won't be wasting my life. I won't be wasting my time. In place of all those things, there are so many fun other things. There are so many other fun things you can do. Because before, yeah, I used to look like I used to hope for weekends. I used to look up to weekends. Oh, can it just be Friday? You go out Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Club, club, club. You stay out 1 a.m., 2 a.m., 3 a.m. Is that the lifestyle you really want to live? Naya. Is that the lifestyle I really want to live? Nah. I think one day I actually did this thing and one time like that, I went to the office and I almost fainted. I went out Friday, Saturday, Sunday. My body kept enduring, enduring for that month. And one time I went to the office after partying Friday night because it's thank God this weekend. After partying Friday night, Saturday night and Sunday night and all of that, I went to the office Monday morning because even after going to parties, I resume at the office promptly. I resume early and do my work. Once I'm, at, I, I'm at, once I'm in the office, I'm in the office. You get. But this particular day, it's that was this was sometime in 2020. This was sometime in 2022. This was sometime last year. So once I'm in the office after partying throughout the weekend, I went to the office and guys, around 3 a.m. my body was hot. My body was shaking. And all of those things i don't know but more like i fainted and all but then i knew it was because i did not get enough rest during the weekend what i was doing during the weekend was going out every day and when you even say you want to network the kind of places you go to i don't think the kind of people you want to really network with are the people you would find there depending on the kind of business you do anyways you determine the kind of places you should go to for me yeah i decided that this year now yeah, i won't i'll be doing less partying i'll try to party once or twice in a month what i mean is in a particular weekend friday saturday sunday i'll select just a day i want to party and party for that day and i decided i'll be making these decisions twice in a week or something like that so that means i'll be clubbing if at all i want to club maybe twice in a month you get so that's what i decided i was going to be doing because there's so many other things you can actually be doing and those other things are actually the things i enjoy visit restaurants take yourself on expensive dinner dates whether it's a solo date or whether it's with a friend of yours do other fun stuffs you know go to expensive restaurants observe people's table etiquette learn from them learn one or two things do other things so many other creative things instead of partying partying and becoming a drunkard now nah, i'm stopping that shit this year another thing i won't be doing this year henceforth and i think you should adopt it is not taking care of yourself be it physically, be it spiritually, be it mentally, be it emotionally, cease, bruh. You need to take care of yourself. You need to stop pouring into others, other people's cup. You need to take out time and pour into your own cup. Fill your own cup. 
But coming down to taking care of yourself, you don't expect to keep eating nonsense every day, two, four, seven, and then expect to be healthy when you eventually grow old or when you grow old. You don't expect that. It doesn't work like that. You cannot eat nonsense every day and expect to be healthy when you grow I'm old. actually picky and nosy about what I eat. I can actually follow my, I can judiciously follow my um, eating routines weekdays because it's easier. I'm engrossed in work and all of that. But weekends, I indulge. I try to indulge moderately because I always look forward to weekends. Weekends is when I plan to take myself out. Weekend is when I plan to enjoy myself. Weekend is when I plan to taste food from different restaurants or whatever I plan for myself. Weekend is when I freestyle, but I freestyle moderately. Weekend is basically when you appreciate yourself for all the weekdays work. Do you get Another thing you can do is to take care of your physical state. If you can't go to the gym, you can do indoor exercise. Just try as much as you can to exercise at least three times in a week. You can exercise in the morning if you have the opportunity or if you can wake up early or you can decide that you're going to do indoor exercise when you return from work just before you sleep at night. You are going to exercise. Just try to make sure to do these things, to keep yourself physically stable. Try to avoid unnecessary conversations to keep yourself emotionally stable emotionally stable read your bible feed yourself with the word of god to keep yourself spiritually stable and read books to help yourself financially you have to make sure that at every point in time you are taking care of yourself you are taking care of your well-being you are taking care of you your person so that's one of the things i'm not going to be doing this year not taking care of myself because i'm going to focus more or taking care of myself all around in every aspect of my life another thing i won't be doing in 2023 and sports is speaking or gossiping about other people for some reasons i won't be talking about people anymore in as much as you know my role model i have no business i have no reason being in your business i don't want to know i don't want to talk about you i don't want to know about you i don't if you're not telling me directly i don't want to hear about it from other people there's nothing, there's no reason at all for me to be in your business. And there's a little trick to this. In as much as I don't want to be in other people's business, and I also don't want people to be in my business, I also try to resist the urge to defend myself when people talk about me, when people say things about me, when people say stuff about me, because the truth is, these people don't know me. They don't know me. They don't know me. They don't know me. Nobody knows me. Okay, another thing I won't be doing in sports is not being vocal about my needs and boundaries. It's time to start speaking up. It's time to start speaking up for yourself, be it your relationship, be it um, with your co workers, be it in your family, be it with your sisters, be it with your siblings, be it with whoever, be it your relationship. You need to start speaking up, start setting your boundaries, stating your boundaries, stating your needs. State what you need in your relationship. State what you need from your friends. State what you need from whoever. But then, even as you state, speak out. Even as, even as you say those things you need, also speak out and state what the boundaries are. Because most times, people just keep doing things. Maybe they don't even know they, they are crossing the line. They don't even know uh, that like they've gotten to that boundary. Do you get? They don't know why. In some other way, sometimes these people know. They just keep doing it doing those things that are doing that irritates you just to see how far it can push you you need to start speaking up you need to start speaking up set boundaries set the boundaries make people know when they cross the line make people know when is a done deal make them know that it ends here you can't do this you can't go further than this set the boundaries speak up for yourself speak up for your needs speak up for your wants speak up what your boundaries are speak up for yourself always show up for yourself nobody's gonna do that for you only you only me only i can do that and i've decided that this day i'm going to set boundaries with my friends with my co-workers whoever they are my needs in my relationship my family even your family yeah at some point you need to set boundaries for them you need to if need be do it Okay. Another thing I won't be doing in 2023 is to do impulse buying. You go out, it's all of you to spend on your budget, you just overbuy. And that is why I've decided that in 2023, I'm going to make sure all my expenses are on a budget. 
you don't just go out without plans you don't just go out without written written things you want to buy actually yeah so i decided that because normally when i go to the market maybe to get food stuff i'm using food as an example because oh god you don't want to see my you don't want to see my food it's always tough for instance i can decide that okay i want to go to the market to buy goat meat i might buy it's only to buy half goat it's like okay let's buy food goat and stock and then the meat is there but the thing is that even in as much as you can preserve your food this food can go bad these things can go bad sometimes you can go to the market maybe you're a candle lover and all of those things you just shop you know you just keep adding things to cart buying things you don't need sometimes even buy wares you don't need you can get some clothes unnecessary clothes that are just in your closet one year three years and they're just there acquiring those you're not wearing them you shop for handbags you don't need you keep acquiring handbags maybe you're, you're an handbag lover you have cut bigger you have river island you have zara you have all high street fashion collection in your closet bags you don't need you just keep shopping for them so i'm stopping impulse buying because most of the time what leads to all of these things is actually impulse buying you just see them and then you want to get them you want to grab them even when you don't need them so that's one of the things i'm going to be stopping henceforth to enable me to save more i use my money for other valuable things another thing i'm not going to be doing in 2023 is not looking my best self this year i want to look my best self. i want to stop saving clothes for occasions i want to stop saving things for occasions because every day in your life is worth celebrating stop saving things for special occasions stop it stop saving your enjoyment stop saving your refreshment stop saving your travels for special occasions i decided this year that i'm going to look into my wardrobe and take out those trash i don't wear no more and make sure that for every time i purchase something i'm going to purchase a quality not your regular basic uh, whatever anytime i want to purchase a dress it's going to be of high quality and of high standard i'm not going to be doing basics anymore if i want to purchase air i'm going to purchase good hairs if i want to make my nails i'm going to make sure i fix the best and trust me i'm going to be looking my best self this year i'm going to show up for myself this year henceforth and another thing I want to quickly add to this is not talking myself out of nice things, be it nice dinner, be it travel, be it trips, be it anything. I am going to get myself those nice things. A lot of us will try to cover up that, okay, I don't think um, we need to do this. I think this is too much and all of that. But I'm going to say this is so long as you can afford it, so long as you know you can afford it, get it. Because most times when you do things, you feel like you don't deserve it. But the truth is, you deserve it and you deserve lots more. This year, I'm going to get myself a lot of nice things. I'm not convincing myself that, oh, this is extra and that, blah, blah, blah. So long as I can afford it, guys, I'm getting it. So long as I, if my one can get it, I'm going to go for it. I'm giving myself the best trip and sports. I'm not saving my enjoyment for anybody. I'm not saving my happiness for anybody. I'm just going to give myself the best because, trust me, I deserve the absolute best then one last thing i want to add to the list is this year i'm not going to be too hard on myself trust me we have to be kind to ourselves you make a mistake you forgive yourself you let go and move on don't eat yourself up too much don't bite yourself up too much it is always good that you reflect on your actions it is always good that you take a break and review what you have done or reflect on what has happened and all of that take corrections forgive yourself and move on Okay, I'm sorry I have to bring the Bible into this. But we just celebrated Easter, right? Peter denied Jesus three times, regretted it, went back, asked for forgiveness, and even took the Bible, the passion for Christ, even more seriously. And trust me, by God's grace, his reward is in heaven. But Judas betrayed Jesus, regretted, but dwelled in that regret. He didn't, he didn't forgive himself. He could not forgive himself. Although it is already written in the Bible that... Um, Woe to that man who will betray the Son of Man. Woe to he that will betray the Son of God. Do you get? It is better that he is not born. Because trust me, it is already written in the Bible. And God has already foreseen most of the things that will happen. Most of the things that will happen to us and all of that. But logically speaking, Judas betrayed Jesus. He regretted and dwelled in that regret. He could not forgive himself. He could not move on. And that is why he took his own life. But you see this year, guys, I'm not going to be hard on myself. If I make a mistake, I'm going to learn from it. I don't want to say I'm going to regret and forgive myself. Now, I'm going to try to reassess myself, learn from it, and move on.
move on. We have a God that is forgiving. We have a God that is always there to welcome us. Why can't we forgive ourselves and welcome ourselves? Embrace your weakness and walk towards improving in there. People say God cannot give you temptations that you cannot, you cannot um, um, surpass. Temptation that you cannot overcome. Do you guess? But because we, he knows we have the ability to overcome certain temptations, that's why he brings it to us. So when you even fall into this temptation, pray to God to give you the strength to be able to overcome. So this year, guys, if I ask you one, hi, hi, hmm, I'm going to be kind to myself as much as possible. I'm going to be good to myself. I'm also going to try to avoid those things that will put me in those states that I have to think, rethink, and reassess myself. Trust me, everybody has made mistakes, but there are times you need to sit down, review your life, reassess yourself, tell yourself, okay, this is where I went wrong, this is what I did wrong, and this is what I'm going to do to correct that, or this is what I'm going to do to make sure I don't find myself in such situations. So guys, I'm going to be ending this video here. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned one or two things. If this video was insightful, please like my video. Please drop your comments in the comment section. Share my video if possible. And stay tuned on this channel. Stay tuned to my channel, okay? Thank you so much for watching, guys. Bye.